Hello everyone, it's me in my kitchen here. Uh, my light source is off, so it would be better to film here next to the window. The light is more pleasing than in the room. Again, no excuses. And today I want to share with you the realization I found. And this realization can help you understand the way you approach things in life, especially when it comes to business, freelance stuff. If you want to make, start to make money from the things you're passionate about, pursuing your curiosities. Uh, I really resonate with the message, with the message of uh, Dan Cole. He provides information around this, like to do, develop yourself, invest in yourself, and then develop the systems that will help other people to do the same. And uh, as you all know. I plan to leave, uh, leave my job and uh, I already had a talk with, uh, with my superior. Yeah, it's, it's happening. Officially it's happening and uh, I was uh, constantly doubling around my fears. If I'm doing the right thing, am I irresponsible? Is it a childish thing to do? Like I should prepare a plan first. I should have a plan and... Uh, predictable things I have to do, a constant flux of clients and income. I'm not saying it's not important, but it's, it's crucial and important. But I want to make here a separation between you have uh, people operating in different ways and uh, you will encounter, uh, and I hope you will uh, start to see the parallel in, uh, in your life. There are two types of people, I mean, two times two types of thinking brain models. You may hear this as uh, right brain and left brain. Left brain is uh, more logical, uh, right is more creative and spontaneous. To give an example as, as a left brain or right, this, these are the people who can uh, focus on information, digest this information, then move, move to the next detail by detail by detail. And that's how they learn information and they get energy from this focus. So the main thing is to have this pure focus onto something, as I'm trying to focus on this camera thing here right now and uh, uh, to make it more cl uh, clear for example a l more of a left brain guy has to prepare a presentation right for this presentation to be successful he has to create a script make a list of ideas and go one by one and practice it many times more than 10 times for sure and it will be a very cool ass presentation if uh, the left brain guy decided okay i'll have some ideas about this presentation and the rest i'll improvise if, it, if it's needed then he finds himself during the presentation uh, he cannot come up with uh, something to say and uh, the presentation is is shitty like <laughs> nobody would like to listen to it. and comparing to the right brain thinking person. This type of presentation would be approached from a totally different perspective because he gains energy not from the focus itself but from, uh, how you say it, from association. Like, okay, now I get spontaneous thoughts about this, I get spontaneous about that. Like, for example, in one hour you do the workout and uh, on the next thing you are doing, uh, I don't know, jogging, for example. or like for 20 minutes you do weightlifting and for other 20 minutes you do cardio. For a right brain guy it will be easy, for a left brain guy it would be more efficient to focus an hour like of pure dedicated time slot. I mean it, I'm just came up with a training uh, uh, activity but uh, it, can, it can be applied for anything. Like uh, the left brain guy he can do the same action hours long. The right brain guy he can do it in chunks one hour today, next hour tomorrow, or one hour this thing, next hour the other thing, and uh, that's how he keeps going. And the same I notice in the way people do business. I, uh, in my real life I encounter only people like myself, the right brain, like they have a skill, they start to offer the service, and then they find themselves uh, getting requests from other people to give the service and I mean to sell the service and that's how they in time grow their business it's a very simple model uh, it requires faith and spontaneity you, you get the point but on the internet uh, yes I encountered people who are also very successful and they have this systematic approach like first step do this and ne next step do that for a consistent period of time and then you keep building up like they really can create plans like okay this year i will do only this to create this foundation then on the next year i will do only that 
then I'll get this kind of growth. They, they can uh, absorb the information in a focused way and then apply it. The right brain guys, like myself, again, we do something that feels right and then somehow the ball starts to get rolling. That's what, that's what I am observing at the, at the moment. Uh, I started video work, I encounter one client, second, third, do some uh, pictures to my friends and then I find myself, oh, one recommended, another recommended and uh, I scheduled five, uh, five paid sessions. It's uh, video and uh, photo. And it, uh, it was without me forcing myself to negotiate, to go there and... I mean, of course, the negotiation is around pride, but they negotiate around, like, does the person need my service? Right? And this is the surprising thing uh, I found. People say, oh, if you want to quit, to quit your job and uh, pursue your passion, you need to have a plan. You need to have a business plan. You need to have a constant flux of clients. And I'm, I'm not saying it, you don't. It's, essential and uh, once uh, I quit my job I will let you know more about this but nonetheless when I tend to be to do the left-minded things like to, for example to follow a course right and uh, to be focused on each topic and in a focused way do the exercises like step by step I get really drained out <clears throat> I get so uh, out of energy that I would need one or two days to recover from this. I remember when I was in university, I had to spend, whew, I would say, five days to learn each uh, subject that will be on the exam. So it was like around 36 and I was learning and like trying to put in my mind every single subject and I could. And once I finished the exams, all the information just evaporated because it's not it didn't resonate with me, it was not important. But if I listen to a video here, listen to a podcast, doing some things in real life, and it resonates, it just stucks in my brain, and uh, by association I can uh, get them out. This is how I tend to become creative, when I least expect it, and uh, that's how I tend to modify my videos during the editing compared to the initial version in my brain. And I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, it's the thing how uh, people operate. And once you understand this, you start to become more calm and you start to see that, okay, now it makes sense, I will do in this way. And then you'll find yourself, you'll become way more effective. Because at school, everybody tries to put you in this box of being a left-brained guy, you do the thing step by step and you just be uh, very consistent and you are very logical. But no, some people are creative and they, they can combine things and they can really create something new out of this. I'm getting very long here. I'm glad you watched this video. I'll come more in the, into detail about this because it's the thing that I recently realized. And this is what I observed that I just have to keep going, have to keep being chill, have to keep being uh, creative, a pleasant to work with, know more people, uh, especially people who I resonate with. And in this way, they will tend to recommend my services. And this is how I see growing in the future, growing in terms of uh, providing more video and photo service. This is what I would like to do at the moment and uh, I see this uh, manifesting. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the video, put the like, comment and if you want to get closer I'll provide the links so you can reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram and uh, you can check my newsletter, weekly newsletter. This one I posted is a bomb, it's about my fitness journey during my teenage years and I hope you will get uh, more inspired by reading uh, that article because I put really a lot of my passion in there. So uh, peace and keep going.